This video shows you how to run the Amazon Free RTOS demo application for the NXP LPC 54018 IoT module using Segger Embedded Studio IDE and Segger JLink. In order to successfully run this demo, you need an AWS account, an NXP LPC 54018 IoT module, a Seger JLink debugger with 9-pin Cortex-M adapter, the Seger Embedded Studio IDE with free non-commercial license, and the Seger Amazon Free RTOS eval software package for the LPC 54018 IoT module using Seger Embedded Studio. Your best starting point is the Getting Started with Amazon Free RTOS webpage. To get there, visit aws.amazon.com, then go to Documentation, Amazon Free RTOS. Next, click on the Amazon Free RTOS User Guide, then click Getting Started with Amazon Free RTOS. This Getting Started Guide will tell you or provide you with links on how to complete the following steps. Creating and activating an AWS account. Adding an IAM user to your AWS account. Granting the IAM user access to AWS IoT and Amazon Free RTOS. Registering your NXP MCU board with AWS IoT, which involves creating an IoT thing to manage your device with AWS IoT, creating a private key and an X509 certificate to allow your device to authenticate with AWS IoT, and creating an AWS IoT policy to grant your device permissions to access AWS IoT resources. Next, go to www.seger.com, click on Products, and click on Embedded Studio. Sega Embedded Studio is a powerful C++ integrated development environment for microcontrollers. Download and install Embedded Studio, which is available free of charge for non-commercial and non-profit educational use. Next, go to Products, IoT, Amazon Web Services, and download the Amazon Free RTOS Embedded Studio package for the LPC 54018 IoT module. In the downloaded eval software package, double-click the AWS underscore demos .em project file to open the demo project in Embedded Studio. You can check out the readme.md file for important information about the demo. In Embedded Studio, select Build Rebuild Solution to make sure the project compiles without errors. Now it's time to configure your project. First, configure your Wi-Fi credentials. From the Project Explorer window, open Demos include AWS underscore client credential dot H. Specify the values for the SSID, the password, and the security type for your Wi-Fi network. Second, configure your AWS IoT endpoint. You need to specify a custom AWS IoT endpoint in order for the free RTOS sample code to connect to AWS IoT. To find the name of your endpoint, log into your AWS account and browse to the AWS IoT console. In the left navigation pane, choose Settings. Copy your custom AWS IoT endpoint from the text box and paste it into the corresponding field in the AWS underscore client credential dot H file. Third, configure your AWS IoT credentials. The certificate and the private key you created when you registered your board must be hard coded into the Amazon Free RTOS code. To do this, in a browser window, open the certificate configurator in Demos, Common, Dev Mode Key Provisioning, Certificate Configuration Tool. Under Certificate PEM file, choose the certificate file you downloaded from the AWS IoT console. Under Private Key PEM file, choose the private key file you downloaded from the AWS IoT console. Select Generate and Save AWS underscore Client Credential underscore Keys dot H 
and save the file in demos common include. This overwrites the stub file that is already in the directory. In the left navigation pane of the AWS IoT console, choose test to open the MQTT client. In the subscription topic text box, type freertos slash demos slash echo and then choose subscribe to topic. Now it's time to build, download and run the freertos demo. Connect your Sager J-Link to the LPC IoT module. Then connect the J-Link and the IoT module to your computer via USB cables. In Embedded Studio, rebuild your project with Build Rebuild Solution. Start the debug session with Debug Go. When the debugger stops at main, let it run with Debug Continue. In the debug console, watch the various steps like key provisioning, connecting to Wi-Fi, connecting to AWS, subscribing to FreeRTOS, Demos, Echo, and publishing MQTT messages. In the MQTT client in the AWS IoT console, you should see the incoming MQTT messages sent by your IoT device. This video showed you how to run the Amazon FreeRTOS demo application for the NXP LPC 54018 IoT module using Sager Embedded Studio IDE and Sager J-Link. For more information, please visit www.sager.com AWS. And stay tuned for an AWS demo using Sager's MBUS RTOS. Thanks for watching.